Hey everyone, Adrian here, back with the NOEFC devotionals for Advent. This Sunday, Pastor Jeff is preaching on Luke 1, 26 through 56. And in that, we get this glimpse of Mary in, in her processing of how life is going to change. Uh, in particular, verse 28 says, And he came to her, being the angel, and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she, Mary, was very perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel goes on to tell her to not be afraid, that she is highly favored by God. Uh, and we see Mary as she processes this information and then goes to Elizabeth and, and after being with her is able to experience this genuine awe and excitement for what God has planned for her life. Uh, we see in, in in verses 56, 46 through 56, uh, this, this beautiful song of praise, almost a poem that, that Mary has crafted uh, to share her, her excitement and her um, recognition of a blessing that God has given her. Um, and while Mary is never described by the word faithful, I think that's a word that, that no one would be upset if we described Mary as faithful, a faithful servant of the Lord. Um, a faithful mother to her her son, to her family, um, and just in general in her life, um, a faithful individual that was committed to being obedient to the God that she served. And in this time right now, with so much changing, there's it's so hard to to have a standard to to kind of live by. We don't have the same expectations as we did before COVID. Um, sports practices look different. Activities for kids look different. Your work schedules and even what your work entails, it all looks different. Um, your schedule with, with family time versus alone time is changing. And I think at the beginning of this and even still now, we're all kind of perplexed by what does this actually mean for our lives? And I think we can learn from Mary in simply committing to faithfulness this Advent season. I don't know what that faithfulness faithfulness looks like in your life. I don't know what it looks like for your family as a whole. Um, but I encourage you to explore the idea of faithfulness. And and right now, that's kind of that's our standard. It's not um, it's not the amount of numbers of of of, of anything that your your job was defined by before. Um, whether that be sales or people in attendance or um, Excel sheets that you turned in or documents that you got filed away, uh, our success isn't defined by that right now. Um, and I would challenge that it wasn't defined by that before, but I think we're getting a very personal glimpse as to, um, as to what defines our identity now. Uh, and that is, that is, that was Christ before COVID and that is certainly Christ after COVID. Um, so just embracing that faithfulness. And, and it's not necessarily just reading your Bible every day and praying and, and trying your best to experience fellowship in a normal way, but it's, it's the simple things that God has called you personally to. What are the burdens that he's given you to carry? What are the crosses that you have to pick up every morning when you wake up? Um, what are those things that you have to encourage your family in? And it's, it's being faithful in those small things um, to further the kingdom, to deepen your relationship with Christ, uh, and, uh, and to keep going right now in this, this very strange Advent season. So in this Advent, um, I encourage you to be faithful in whatever form that that takes. I look forward to being with you guys in person one day, and I hope you have a wonderful day.